Hi, my name is Nacho. Welcome back to the channel. And we love Jack Sparrow. You have Captain, Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Sorry. Captain Jack Sparrow. Probably one of the most iconic swashbucklers in the history of cinema that had so much love put into him by the writing team and Johnny Depp's own input to the character that allowed the Pirates of the Caribbean trilogy and the other two to become some of the most popular movies in pop culture all around the world. So it would be logical to eventually have a Pirates of the Caribbean 6, right? Wrong! Forget all of that, because this is modern Hollywood and we don't care about legacy. Making interesting stories about a vast and strange world with over-the-top lore and characters. Fuck that, we want to make a movie and put a chick in it and make her lame and gay. Because representation matters and if you disagree, you're a hateful bigot. Back to the world of reasonable individuals, there's no doubt to anyone who has seen the original trilogy and the other two that Jack Sparrow was the beating heart of the franchise from where all other characters got to develop and grow with the audience. Will Turner grown from quiet blacksmith secretly in love with a cute girl to brave sea captain fighting alongside Jack in a ghost ship with his heart in a literal box. Talk about character arc. Bella Swan going from high-born goody two-shoes daughter of the governor to king of the pirates. Luffy would've been proud. <laughs> and Captain Barbosa going from stern arch-rival and mutineer to one of the most beloved anti-heroes in the whole franchise. Every other character that has ties with Jack Sparrow... Captain... <clears throat> sorry, Captain Jack Sparrow adds a little bit of their flair to a very interesting story that just so happens to be one of Disney's most profitable franchise of all time. So what happened? Why not keep making movies, TV shows, spin-offs? Why stop? Well, it turns out that having a license to print money was not something Disney was overly concerned with back in the day, especially in 2016, after Amber Turd broke her silence, divorced Depp, and filed a restraining order claiming that he was abusive towards her. This, alongside the tidal wave that was the Me Too movement, set social media on fire, and the executives at Disney were quick to run in with a fire extinguisher and drop Depp from absolutely anything that had his name on it before any accusations were confirmed or any trial even started. Believing wholeheartedly on the word of the victim, Amber Heard. Not a great plan. After that, we all know what happened. The most viewed and memed on live stream trial in history. Amber Heard and her lawyers making absolute fools of themselves. We know now that drinking mega pints is really not that good for your relationship and Amber Heard will forever be remembered as someone who shat in her partner's bed. So in light of Johnny's innocence, the talk for having him back on Pirates was back on. Disney fucked up so they should recast him and lick his boots down to the soul for him to make them money again. However, and very rightfully so, he said no, they betrayed him turned their backs on him without proof and when the tables turned and they realized their mistake, he said that he'd never come back to work for them, not even for 300 million dollars. Which having a Pirate 6 with him as Jack, after all that happened, would probably be a bargain with the amount of money that movie would probably make based only on word of mouth. But speaking of Pirate 6, the need to constantly make more money out of franchise well and all finished hasn't stopped over at Disney Co. So the talks about an all-female pirates with Margot Robbie at the helm were rumored to be underway, with scripts being written by Craig Mazin, the guy behind Chernobyl and The Last of Us, but the fans were very clear that they only wanted Johnny back as captain. So, not long after that, the idea was indefinitely put on hold, and I believe at this point, scrapped. Until this article appeared on Twitter, saying that Disney's considering A.O. Edibiri as replacement for Johnny in Pirate 6. Now, Miss Edibiri has had a very recent rose to stardom with her part on The Bear. Pretty cool show, won a couple of awards, but as you would imagine, the reception for her just being rumored to get this part was received extremely poorly, with everyone memeing on it just in this one post I found on Twitter. My reaction goes something along the lines with this guy. <sighs> Also, the rumors of this new role for Ao are of a character named Anne, based on a real-life pirate that lived in the 17th century called Anne Bonnie, an Irish woman who used to operate in the Caribbean, and looks something along the lines like this. The resemblance is uncanny. The only good thing if this ever happened, it won't, is that I will have a lot more material to make a second Ginger Side Characters video. 
It doesn't take a marketing expert to realize that the worst thing you could have done if you wanted to keep this franchise alive was dropping Johnny Depp. None of these movies would have happened without him, much like the MCU if he didn't have RDJ as Tony Stark. You can't replace him. That's pretty much it. He was literally born for this role. This is a man who used to go through hours of costume and makeup to visit sick kids at the hospital dressed as Jack Sparrow. That's how good of a character he was. So they either drop an ungodly amount of money to have him back, if he even takes it, or move on and try to gender and race swap yet another franchise and see how well that turns out for them. The fans will never stop asking for Johnny to be back for the role and they will boycott any attempts to make the Pirates without him. So putting any money towards making this movie would be an incredibly stupid move to say the least and Miss Eddie Beery should stay as far away from this role as possible if she wants her career to keep flourishing much like Liam Hensworth should have done when he was offered the role to replace Henry Cavill. And if I'm being honest, you can't make a Pirates 6. Pirates 4 and 5 were already weird as shit and turned the cringe factor to 100, making the focus of the story young and sexy idiots instead of the rugged and badass crew from the Black Pearl and the Flying Dutchman. The quality of the CGI also wasn't the best in comparison and the story had no grip. It was just going after the next MacGuffin against this very fearsome baddie that dies at the end without doing much to make him memorable. Yeah, I liked Javier Bardem as the Spanish captain, not so sure about all the black goo all the time. The origins of Jack's last name was cool, but that's when I stopped caring. Blackbeard and the Cup of Immortality was forgettable, as well as the hot dude that fell in love with the mermaid chick, only to be drowned by her at the end. And if you even could have a new Pirates of the Caribbean with a gender and race swap main character, it will have to be Zoe Saldana's Anna Maria from the first movie. But oh no, what's that? She will never come back to the role? Because of the endless politics that were involved when she played that role back in 2003? Why am I not surprised? It would probably be a hundred times worse nowadays, especially with her trying to replace Johnny Depp. I can't imagine a worst nightmare of a role for any woman to be cast in. Referring to this casting call as anything less than radioactive would be like saying that the elephant's foot from Chernobyl is nothing more than some spicy play-doh. Go touch it. Toasty. There are some weird trailers going around on YouTube about having Jenna Ortega as Jack's daughter and having him alongside her story. This of course is all fan-made and despite some trailers looking a bit wacky, they look fun. There could be a very tiny, minuscule, subatomical chance of this working because both actors are cool and people like them but it would take some really creative and risky takes to make the story into something new that we haven't seen before that pushes the boundaries like the first pirates did that will drive people into the cinemas even though having johnny would probably do that on its own and i seriously don't believe there's anyone on disney currently who is capable or would even dare to do that so the parts of the caribbean trilogy and the other two, were lightning in a bottle, properly catched, nurtured, and later released into the wild as a powerful storm that made millions on top of millions in movies, merchandise, DVD sales, with one of the most memorable soundtracks ever made, and still has people cosplaying and making the Jack Sparrow run on every social media known to men, even after 20 years of the movies being made. It is the movies that to this day are held as one of the high standards to when CGI looked absolutely bonkers but that magic is gone never to be seen again it is now just a memory from when movies used to be fun and innovating it will never be done again and any attempts to do so will only end up with youtubers like me taking the absolute piss out of them but if you watched this fun video leave us a like thank you so much to my first supporter over at coffee jponyo1 you're an absolute legend man check out this video next let me know in the comments down below which is your favorite moment from the Pirates franchise, Barbosa's reveal at the end of Dead Man's Chest, and as always, I've been Nanjo, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.